hi leather rock here welcome to my channel do you guys like pink check this out i just love pink i don't know if the lighting here shows this off to its best degree and you know what my box that i've been balancing my computer on just fell i don't want that to happen so if you want to see how i came up with this beautiful pink look that can be either subtle or dramatic depending on how much you use stay tuned i am using this delightful bye bye birdie palette from ColourPop, and this palette has neutral looking pale pinks of different kinds but it also has purples and it has lots of glitter and half the things that seem like they might be matte actually have glitter in them and I'm going to show you how I did it. And now I'm going to tell you something. I was going, I was all planned to do this video yesterday. I was out and about and I have, I keep on trying to find new places that would be interesting to film my videos. And I was at such a spot, didn't have any music in the background. It was quiet only to find out that when I had packed my things to do this video, I forgot my oil. I forgot my foundation makeup and uh, because I didn't want to carry the bucket that I had been putting my things in that's really convenient for the things you're afraid to spill but I felt really awkward walking around the previous night I had been out I had all my YouTube stuff and uh, I found a dance floor with my name on it and needless to say I felt like a bag lady with all my crap I had like carabiner type hooks to attach this bag to a big tote bag and uh, I was afraid that the tote bag that had my computer and it was going to get so heavy and I ended up having to put it on the ground and I really hate putting things on the germy ground but you know the, the end the, I was afraid oh yeah and I had my zebra striped coat and I was so afraid somebody would spill drinks on it so but when I didn't have my oil and I couldn't do this out where I wanted to I was really bummed out so I said I have to do this today and but at least doing it here I have a benefit of having a cat but oh I want to show you something else the last time I, when I did that other makeup tutorial outside I was going to I wanted to have a cat in it and so what this is in, in the bag this is a stuffed socks the cat that I got in one of my many trips to Washington DC and I figured since for those occasions where I can't be at home and I can't have my cats I could have a cat in my video and I actually had it with me during the one day that I did a video and I forgot to get it out so there you have it okay I have my oil now and you know what I'm supposed to sterilize my hands because I handled the cat but you know what if you won't I won't tell if you don't put some oil in there and tabby boy wants to be let out so he doesn't go to the bathroom I'll let him out okay go go ahead go all right, he's happy. Now I'm going to take this makeup off. With this look, having a black winged eyeliner really makes all the difference. Uh, if you omit the eyeliner and you omit the mascara, it can look very subtle. Um, how much, how bright it is depends on how much of the pink you use. Yeah, I, I was pretty annoyed with myself when I didn't have everything with me. And then I was planning on going to see this other band that was up about two miles up. And it was cold and it was raining. And uh, I don't mind traveling around with my YouTube goodies, but I had... A lot of extra stuff when you get when you do a makeup tutorial having the necessary liquids and involved like to take the makeup off and stuff it really adds to the amount of stuff you're carrying and if you're not driving if you're on foot and you're walking around carrying a bunch of bags and the weather's not good it can be problematic you know so and I'm, I, anyway I'm really sorry I, I missed their band 
And I was also hoping that an acquaintance of mine would show up who offered to cash my check from the movie I worked on last month. Uh, it's really hard to cash a check when you don't have enough ID and you don't want to use a check cashing place and give them their, what is it, 3% or whatever. And uh, I think that that's really kind of immoral to be asked to charge a fee to use your own money that you were already probably taxed on. And then there are these people that, that act like they'll do you a favor, but they want a percentage of your pay. I just think that's a real, I think that's fine. That's a way to financially take advantage of people. And it's a shame that some of the poorest people that aren't able to have cash savings or it's not safe for them to stash cash around. So they have no choice but to use a bank or some kind of a, a money service. And the very things that they have to use for their own safety are ways that they're being taken advantage of financially. And it just really bums me out how companies do that to people. So anyway, I have an acquaintance of mine. And I can talk about him because I'm pretty sure he doesn't watch me these videos. And uh, he offered to cash my uh, check. It's from a casting agency that's affiliated with... Cynix and Central Casting, any of you showbiz people watching me, you know who those they are. And it's only a check for $121.17, I think. It's hardly something that would impact most fairly successful people. And I see, I'm not the kind of person that's willing to ask favors of my friends. I don't want to seem like I'm this weak person. I, I find it really hard when I do fall on hard times to even talk about it. It's really embarrassing. I, you know, like when I had the problem with my uh, computer breaking and I was unable to make videos. You know how humiliating that was to feel like, first of all, I feel like I'm letting people down because I'm not able to produce my content. Second of all, when I come on hard times, I feel like I'm some kind of a, I don't want to say loser because I don't want you to think that I have a, I have a dim view of people who are, not doing well financially that couldn't be further from the truth but i i will say that i don't like not being seen at my best and it just it was really kind of humiliating so now i want to now before i run interrupt my train of thought i want to make sure to put a cap on this because i've knocked these bottles down without caps on them and spilled made messes and i don't want to do that so anyway, there was a chance that if I had gone to see this band last night, maybe this guy would have been here to offer to cash my check. And I mean, I even made a Facebook mention, not publicly, but on my friends list. And I have a love-hate relationship with Facebook. I really do. So, okay, let me take a look at how I'm doing here. This palette, the only criticism I really have with this palette is it does not have a mirror. Uh, so I'm going to look at... Okay, I've been using this mirror just because it's really, really good. This is from the B&H Cosmetics Glam Reflections. I'm not using this palette for any of the colors, but it has a kick-ass mirror. And even the outside is mirrored. So, take a look. Okay, now I am going to put on some more of my foundation. And the foundation I'm wearing is by The Ordinary. It's their coverage foundation, high coverage foundation formula. And it's their palest shade they make. It's 1.0 NS. Very fair. Neutral with silver highlights. And all this stuff from The Ordinary that I've been drawing out here is stuff that I got from their 23% off sale. I get got hopefully what will last me the year. You know, why not get the lowest possible price on something? Okay, this is probably way too much foundation. I'm putting this on my eye area this is really important to get this foundation on and get it as close to the eyebrows as you can especially for my very fair people um but really everybody it's a good idea especially if you oh my good oh okay i almost thought i screwed up here no i didn't okay i'm going to put a little bit more underneath my eyes to make up for whatever it will may have taken off. If there's anything excess, don't want to waste anything. Okay. I'm pretty sure my fingers didn't touch my cat, so. Okay, now 
I actually used an eye primer also with this because uh, now some foundations are dewy enough and moist enough that you don't need a primer. But this I use the Ulta Beauty Matte Eye Primer and it's in a shade though. It's a shade it's called Nude. And since most of these colors end up being too dark for somebody with my skin tone, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on my eye, but I'm not going to go as far as my eyebrow. I am going to leave about, oh, a half inch maybe of skin. So the rest of the eye, I will prime, leave a half inch so that I will get something that looks like my skin color. I will, I'm also going to take some of this underneath. I don't want to really color the area underneath, but I want to get that area right at my lash line, the same area that you might want to sweep uh, an eyeshadow color underneath. I'm doing this in the off chance that this primer actually helps eyeshadows to adhere. But now, if you're a very pale skin person, very, very, very pale skin person, this primer that I'm using, don't get it too close to your eyebrow because it will be darker than your skin color and it won't make the highlight look right. So, yeah, be aware of the color. Sometimes the lowest, the lightest color available is not going to be a good color match for you. And these things, I don't know if they're supposed to be at, uh, a perfect color match because let's face it the term nude can mean anything uh, nude in, implies some kind of skin color and skin comes in all colors so this could be dark brown and it could still be technically a nude so that should go without saying now first thing we're going to do is I tried to get most of the colors as possible from this but I actually got something from the Ulta Beauty uh, sparkle. Uh, what I don't remember the whole name of this thing, but this was something I got for $19.95, and then I had $2 off. So it included an eyeshadow palette, which is this here, and it included a blush palette, and that's this thing here. And we're going to use both of them today. Okay, and... I just, I'm only using one eyeshadow thing out of this because everything else is for, from that, uh, color pop. Okay. I'm looking for the proper makeup brush. One of these has to be it. Okay, I guess I'm just going to have to use this one. I actually wanted to use a smaller brush and just get on the edges. Ooh, ooh, wrong color, wrong color, wrong color. Now, I'm looking for this pearly white shade and I'm just touching the edges. This brush I'm using here, again, not my preferred brush, but this is a wet and wild crease brush. And it's definitely too big, I think, to really be an effective crease brush. But I'm going to touch just the very edge of the eyebrow with this color. And this is especially for the palest, palest people watching me. The one, the only real criticism I have of this Bye Bye Birdie palette is it doesn't have a color that's light enough except for the white pressed powder glitter and those are really big giant glitter chunks that I don't think is really ideal for what I'm doing here which is just approximate your uh, a skin tone color. I think every palette should have uh, a matte white shade at least to be practical for somebody like me who has such pale skin. I want to get the same amount of white over both eyes. Sometimes you can help to take the uh, brush and flatten it out somewhat so that you can get the kind of line you want. Alrighty. 
Now, getting back into this beautiful Bye Bye Birdie palette. We are going to load the pink on. For this brush, I'm using an Avon brush that is dual sided. This is the eyeliner brush and this is the brush brush. And I'm going to use a pink shade that they call Nevermore. And that's this color here. It's frosty. It feels creamy on the brush. Feel free to load it on. Do a good job loading it on so that you actually could see a lot on the brush. And this is a kind of brush that will deposit and will blend color. And I'm concentrating it on the eyelid and I'm going all over the eyelid. Stopping short of the crease and I'm packing it on real good. This is a time where you really want the color to be as vivid as possible. Even if it looks like it's going to be a little too bright and obnoxious, which it's really, it's subtle enough that it's not going to be obnoxious on you, I'm sure. Hopefully that primer that we just applied will allow this to pack on really. Now feel free to get close to the socket, the inner corner, but don't touch it completely because I want to have some skin available to accept another color okay i want to make sure that this brush is loaded with this pink sweep some for good coverage. Hopefully they're the same height on both sides. Okay. All right, now we are going to dip into a really interesting color here for the crease and it's called On a Wing. And if I had to describe this color, I would say that it reminded me of taupe, but it reminded me of like the purple side of taupe. It's kind of beigey, kind of champagne-y, kind of, it's not gray, it's maybe a little cooler than it's a little, than it is warm, um, but it's not green enough to be taupe. And I'm using one of my favorite brushes. This is a, a b &H Cosmetics brush. I think it's I7. It's a blending crease brush. And I'm gloating it really good. And I'm going to do it thickly in the crease. From the crease to the corner. And I'm going for a heavy application. And I'm not going to go all the way up to where the white starts. But I'm going to get kind of close to it. To the other eye. Load this brush real good. Get in the crease really thick. I'm not going to do any deliberate blending with this. However, during the sweeping process, I might blend it a little bit. It'll end up looking blended when it's all said and done because these colors are still kind of on the soft side. I'm going to go ahead and load this brush up again and do the other side. See how this softens up the look of the pink by having this? I suppose have this crease color ends up being like the equivalent of a transition shade. Here, this definitely softens up this pink. Now, I am going to see about lightening up the very corner, and I'm going to use, let's see, I, may, I better look at what my notes said, a color called Ariel, and that is a, even more of a champagne -y, like a pink champagne -y look. I'm going to use my finger, 
This only works if you don't have long fingernails. And I am going to get it right in the absolute corner of my eye. And repeat that with the second eye. Wiggle it some. And if it comes off a little bit down here, that's fine. Matter of fact, I want to do that again because this is so subtle, I don't think it came across too well. Okay. Now, while I got the other palette out, let's put some blush color on. I actually have nothing on but foundation. And this is kind of on the subtle side but and this is all these I'm going to use a matte I'm going to use this color here not the most exciting color is definitely quite soft and because it's so soft I want to get a really good coating on the brush I don't know if you can even see that. I'm going to put some more. I'm going to use one of these as a highlighter, but these actually, I really don't think this palette is the best for the lightest colored shaded people because this so-called highlight powder it's a gold. It's not, doesn't seem all that light, but I'll use it anyway. See what I mean? This seems a lot more subtle. I'm just using a finger. It's easier than using a brush. You know, it occurs to me the latest, latest um, makeup video I did, I forgot to mention the lipstick. So if I ever forget a crucial piece of information in a video, I try to remember to mention it in my show notes. So after watching my videos, be sure to read what I have to say. Sometimes I list every single color that I use. Other times I don't bother. And the reason why I don't is because I'd see if I had affiliate links or something, but if I don't have any information for you to shop for it, I can't see going through all that color to list everything. It's not like all I care about is what benefits me personally, but that does take a lot of time the more information you put, you know, as far as metadata and stuff. And so I usually figure, well, if you're taking the time to watch the video, then you see the products that I use. So maybe I should put more of the information in more consistently I don't know but considering I don't have home internet and I have to go to these public places that tend to be very noisy and chaotic just to do get my internet chores and that includes posting these videos I have to have internet to post and yesterday things were so noisy and I was trying to post in a sports book and these guys whenever their team would score a touchdown or do whatever they would scream it would sound like they were screaming right in my ear and it was driving me nuts Oh, I'm about to get my eyeliner, and this is a black eyeliner pencil from Ulta Beauty, uh, and
hear the, the TV that someone in the other room? I hear it because I had to have the... Yeah, let me close my door. Sorry about that. Okay, I see that I did something that I don't like. This pencil skipped and I ended up doing like a double line. So this has a lot a bigger, thicker wing than I pl planned on. So guess what? I have no choice but to do it on the other side. Yeah. I'm a, and I'm going to do the water line just under. Uh, let's go back to our palette. And I want to load up this brush with Nevermore. And I want to give a nice coating underneath the eye. Actually, I should have done this before I did the eyeliner. That's how I originally did it. This is the lipstick that I'm using. This is from B&H Cosmetics. This is their Art Pop line. And the color is called Bang. Now one more thing I like to do to intensify the pink on this. I thought that the crease color made the pink look a little bit more muted. So I'm going to go back with the brush I used to apply it. And then I'm going to go back onto the lid and put some more. Now be careful not to cover up the eyeliner you just applied. And just intensify that pink. And then on the second side. Okay, now it's time for the mascara. This mascara is by a company called Manshu, and it's called Sweet Cat Max Volume Mascara in the color black. And you can tell it's definitely should be called Sweet Cat because it's got the adorable cat face on it. So I got this on Wish.com. I think it was a dollar plus two dollars shipping or free but three dollars shipping or whatever it amounted to three dollars and i am a sucker for cat packaging uh and now when it got thick i had to take the stopper out of it that scrapes off the excess so because i really don't want to get rid of this mascara i'm pretty sure i got more than one i got a whole bunch of mascaras at one time so Now, I'm not going to lie to you and say that this mascara makes something out of nothing because it doesn't. But for the novelty of the packaging, I thought it looked pretty sweet. 
And this is a brush that I'm definitely going to save when it finally becomes unusable. What do you think? Isn't this nice? I'm definitely going to save this cat head. Oh, I wanted to show you something that my sister friends got me for Christmas. My friends who are Catholic sisters, they're, I believe, Franciscan nuns. And I hang out with them on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and I drink coffee and have donuts and talk about life and stuff and philosophy. And they're delightful group of young ladies and uh, who would have thought that I would be hanging out with nuns at this stage in my life. But anyway, they had a get together the day before Christmas and they said that they had a present for me. And what I'm about to show you is a mini skirt made by Ugg, Ugg of, of Australia. I'm going to adjust my camera a little bit here. So I'm going to show you that. Now, I did try this on. It looks like it's a little big, but it actually does fit. And I'm supposed to see them for coffee tomorrow. And I, depending on how cold it is, of course, it has been, I'm not going to say it's been freezing cold. Supposedly it only got down to the 40s yesterday. And supposedly it's in the 50s today, but I don't know. I'm cold. I, one of the things I don't always look forward to for filming these videos is being physically freezing cold or in the case of the summertime, being absolutely hot and melting and just not being comfortable and i want to look my best for filming but it doesn't mean that i'm physically comfortable because brr, I'm cold so okay if you like this video well actually let me take my hair down now what do you think do you like this makeup if you like this video feel free to give it a thumbs up if you like me and my content and you haven't already, I'd love to have you subscribe. That way you can see my new adventures. You never know where I'm going to be. I love to find new places to film my videos. If you subscribe, hit that bell so it looks like it's ringing. That way you don't miss anything. Until then, I will talk to you soon. I hope you're enjoying your new year. And I will see you later. Bye.